Hey guys, uh, Dr. Rick Fraser here again. On this video, I want to address uh, 95 to 97% of people who are not uh, making money online. And uh, you look upon the uh, the so-called gurus who are making so many, much money, five figure per month, six figure, you know, year, seven figure online. And you want to, you're wondering what is the secret of the leaders what is the secret of MLM now I just want to go over a few steps with you and hopefully this is gonna help you and put some fire in your bones to get you to the next level okay so <clears throat> what does it take to be a great MLM leader what does it take to be a great leader now um, the, the, I've, I've got a list of things here and I want to just go over a few of them is that really a secret? Well, let's take a look. The first thing you see is that they have experience, okay? Now, experience comes with something you do over and over and over again. Sometimes you even hit your head, sometimes you fail, but all those things come with experience. So if you want to be a great leader, don't be afraid to fail. Because if you're afraid to fail, you'll never be successful, okay? That's why those guys are successful. Some of them have failed several times and they were almost about to throw in the towel and then they got a miracle formula and that's the same thing you need to do the second thing is that treat your business like a business not as a hobby now the problem with online business is that most of the businesses you you know you just invest like $25 <laughs> or $10 or even $100 so people do not treat it like a business if you begin to treat your business like a million dollar business and you do everything to be successful you will be a great leader in your network marketing or you're gonna be a leader that people like to follow okay now just imagine if you bought a franchise of a hundred 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 thousand dollars are you gonna treat it as a hobby I didn't think so you're gonna treat it as a business so treat your business as a business <clears throat> that means you must have the mind of an entrepreneur an entrepreneur is not a job okay it's not a job it's and you are an entrepreneur um, you know employees are always looking for somebody to pay them but if you're an entrepreneur you come up with ideas come with plans don't say I can't you can do it because there is something deposited inside of you that can take you to the next level okay and also be devoted to your business spend at least one three hours a day on your business and build as a business and during that time you don't want anything to distract you you know I see people who want to make money online and they spend all the time on what on surfing Facebook or just on a you know on TV and yet they want to be successful online you got to devote some time devote time to the business and be consistent okay don't be like a bipolar where today you feel like building a business you build it tomorrow you don't feel like it be consistent whether rain or shine be consistent and you will be successful and the next thing I want to talk about is never give up if you want to be successful you want to be a very successful person and a great leader then never 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 give up <clears throat> because if you give up on your dreams you go to the graves with your dreams so never never give up and I tell you dare not give up with you on your dreams rise up and take action and do the things that you need to do to become successful now <clears throat> also you got to have a business plan you got to know how much you want to invest you got to know how much a month you want to set aside to invest into a business remember this is a business and it's not a job okay so a business has a business plan you know how much money set some money aside and I see people all the time they tell me you know I don't have the money but they, they buy Starbucks every day and that's about three dollars a cup and two times times what 30 days it's 90 to almost $100 and that could be an advertising budget for you so if you're really really serious about really building in a business and be a leader then you gotta have a business plan you gotta set goals and work towards this goal until you see success now this is very important here spend 80% of your time recruiting building your business and spend only 20% training people because you need to do what I call IPA that is income producing activities I see people as they begin to build their business you know what they do they begin to spend all the time training people you know don't do that spend 80% of your time training people and you have sorry 80% of the time recruiting building your business 
and 20% training people because if you change this formula, you're gonna see your business go down. So I'm addressing you if you're getting success in your business and for some reason, your business has become stagnant, reevaluate what you are doing and see if you are really spending time recruiting or not. And also, what the big guys use to be successful, the leaders, they use leverage. So make sure that you are training people to duplicate whatever you are doing. Now, let's look over here. Are you ready to go to the next level? This is the challenging question for you. Are you ready to commit three to five years to be successful? Most successful people that I see, they, they are not looking for a microwave kind of success. They are not looking for a push the button kind of success. What they are looking for, they, they, they know that success and a success come with time. It's a step by step process. So are you ready to commit three to five years to be successful? Or you join a business today after two months they're not successful and you quit? If you do that, you have that kind of mindset, you will not be successful. Now, you're gonna sit, are you ready to overcome obstacles? That's a bigger one. You got to be ready to become obstacle because there's going to be obstacle in your way. There's sometimes where you are doing the same things that will bring you success and you are not getting any more sign ups. What are you going to do? Going to quit? No. Be creative and begin to find solution because leaders always find solutions and they go onto the mountain top. So if you listen to me, what I'm going to tell you is that look for successful team, those who are successful, like Anthony Robbins says. Find somebody who has been successful in what you're doing, follow what you do, and you will be successful. You dare not go to the grave with your dream. I'll see you on the next video.